On today's show, an expert showing you how to understand the personality type of your spouse. Dr. Sandy Culkin is the founder of the Institute for Motivational Living and is one of North America's foremost speakers on personality strengths and behavioral analysis. With his superior knowledge of the DISC personality system, Dr. Culkin speaks around the globe and has authored many resources. Often consulting with Fortune 500 companies, Dr. Culkin can advise on staffing growth and team building for optimal success. Here to offer wisdom, warmth, and wit, please welcome Dr. Sandy Culkin. Hey, Dr. Culkin, hey. welcome. Good to have you here. Good to be here, Leon. Well, we are going to have a fun time talking about something I think a lot of Christians don't understand yet. Because you are a doctor of psychology. Yes. And you have worked in that field for a lot of years. Yes. I was reading you've got 35 patents. Uh, copyrights. Copyrights. Uh, to do with the content of helping people. What would you call that? Uh, the DISC and the other systems of understanding personality types? Well, you know, uh, people are all wired differently. And when God uh, kind of wired us, he, uh, I, I mean, I probably could have done a better design, but he didn't, <laughs> but he didn't consult me, right? <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, God wired us all uh, differently. And um, uh, I would have wired everybody like me. And so, uh, but understanding those differences uh, is so crucial in every aspect of our lives. People have strengths, they have weaknesses, they have fears, and the more we understand those things, the better we're able to navigate life, the better we're able to navigate the things that go on in our environment. So whether it's in a marriage, whether it's you putting a business team together, understanding other people at work, when you begin to understand there's four basic personality types in the disc, for example. For years, uh, even before Jesus, uh, you know, there were people like uh, Hippocrates. Uh, they were able to identify f like four different fluids in the body and they said these fluids uh, affected our personalities and affected our actions. Uh, there was Empedocles that, uh, you know, said that they identified four different things that were uh, impacting us. It seems like this four quadrant theory has been around for a long time for uh, Jung and Marston. And so uh, what I did was I took something that was very uh, complicated that was actually developed back in the early 90s and I tried to make it very simple for everyday life so that we could use it with our our families use it in raising children uh, getting along with our spouse uh, you know having significant relationships in business where there's agreement there's power where there's disagreement there's a lack of power okay so you're saying because you made a comment that you can predict people's behavior you will go into a company, meet with the CEOs, look at all the department heads, and you'll predict what each person leads like, handles stress like, etc. Is that correct? Oh, personality is very predictable. Uh, we've done millions of assessments on people, and we see the same characteristics coming out over and over and over again. Uh, it's, it's, it's uncanny. And so when you understand those characteristics and why people do what they do, then you can predict that uh, behavior in a certain environment. Now, I mean, people are complicated, so it's not like uh, people or it's like something that's very simple. But um, because, we, you know, we're a product of our, our history, our environment, our genetics. And uh, as we gain experiences, things change over the years. And we can be one way in, at work and another way at home. And so we're fairly complicated. But when you assess a particular environment in a particular way, absolutely, you, can, you, you know what drives a person, what motivates them, what they're afraid of. You're so good at this. Like, you actually went for the government, was it the Oslo? Uh, yes, we, uh, I was asked that with the Oslo II Peace Accord to um, uh, help identify some of the players, the Palestinians, the Israelis, the Jordanians. And, so you, uh, cr you profiled them? Yeah, yeah they, they took our profile and I was on a plane between uh, L.A. and Pittsburgh and I, uh, out of a whole group of people, there were uh, many, many there, and I picked uh, uh, the significant players and um, sent them in from my assessment and I got, uh, they said, well, they were working with the exact same ones. And um, so, you know, I'm looking at paper and not dealing with people. I'm looking at what they put on uh, the assessments and they came out with the exact same, uh, the exact same criteria, the exact same people. When, when you teach, like we've had you come in and teach our staff and even our, many of our leaders 
the disk system, which a lot of business people are familiar with, but you begin to show the people in the Bible and what they were. Oh, and it was hilarious. Well, it's you know it's great. I mean, God has a tremendous sense of humor, yeah. and He picked people uh, with a certain style to do certain things. For instance, uh, you know, the, the, there's the four styles. There's a dominant style. There's mm -hmm. a very they're very uh, um, uh, assertive. They make great decisions. They're visionaries. Uh, they, they don't get mind, the job uh, done. Get the job done. Don't mind a few bodies here and there everywhere, <laughs> but, uh, but they'll get it done. Uh, yeah, they'll get it done. Uh, they don't mind confrontation. You know, clears the air a little bit. So you have a guy. Like like Joshua, who didn't mind uh, in battle, he didn't mind fighting, he didn't mind uh, having one battle after another, didn't mind going into the promised land, had the vision to do it when others didn't. Uh, and so um, God picked and chose that person. He chose the Apostle Paul, that dominant style, to uh, uh, write the majority of the New Testament, uh, didn't mind putting his back over a whipping pole, to go to Rome to be able to uh, preach the gospel. A snake bit him, just shook it off. Uh, he fired John Mark, you know, yeah. hired Barnabas. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, but he also wrote the love chapter of the Bible. You had Solomon, a dominant style, built one of the wonders of the world. So, um, you know, God picked and chose what people. What percentage of people are of that dominant style? Uh, probably somewhere between 3 and 10 percent of the uh, population. Okay. Uh, yeah, any more than that, we'd be at war all the time. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so after D, what would dominant? What would be the next one? There's a, an influencing style, very verbal, outgoing, people oriented. Apostle Peter was a, was the uh, this uh, influencing personality style. Talk more than anybody else in the Gospels put together. Was a people pleaser. Jesus, Jesus, I'll go die with you. You know, and then Jesus said, "Get thee behind me, Satan." And here he, his dominant fear was rejection, and so you know he's 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 feeling bad, but uh, and he did reject. So him. eyes make the party happen. They are the they definitely you wherever know, the eye is, there's going to be fun. Yes, and two eyes together, it's the mutual admiration society. You know, <laughs> you're, hey, you're okay. I'm okay. How are you? You're, you know, I'm great. Yeah, you're good. Let's go out for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and, and of course, you had uh, King David was an eye. Only an eye is going to dance before God in his underwear. You know, so. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, um, then you have the the very stable, steady. The majority of the population, the eyes are perhaps maybe uh, ten uh, to fifteen percent. So we have an eye. Yes. D, dominant, dominant I, I influencing, influencing by talking, right? Talking, uh, they're inspirational talkers. And the S, uh, the S is stable, steady, secure, sure. Uh, don't you know, like change. Uh, don't like change. They make up uh, about seventy percent of the population. They're the majority wow. of uh, the people. Um, uh, that's my. I married one, uh, and so uh, you know, I married my opposite. Uh, you know, I, she stays up at night thinking how she's going to keep things the same, and I stay up at night thinking how I'm going to change them. So, you know, uh, perfect combo. <laughs> but she's a great mom, and she's uh, very relational, doesn't like confrontation, doesn't like conflict, steady Eddie, you know, doesn't have the high highs, low lows, um, and uh, a lot of common sense, great great style. Uh, Abraham uh, was an S style, Isaac, uh, an S, Jacob, can you imagine God telling uh, these family-oriented people, telling Abraham, uh, you got to kill your son, uh, you know, uh, w what kind of trauma, because the fear of loss of security is their dominant fear, and so, uh, and then uh, Isaac, uh, you know, an S, uh, they married within the family, people that they knew, very secure. Jacob, can you imagine his son Joseph uh, uh, sold in slavery, uh, the trauma that he, he went through? Uh, just just uh, uh, amazing how God picked and chose people yeah. to do it. So the D is dominant. This yes. guy's going to roll the tank over the bodies to get the oh, job yeah. done. And, the and, they're, and they're afraid of loss of control. So what's their job? They want to control things. They want to right. take charge. So each of these uh, personality types has an accompanying fear. Yes. And so people are, you're not going to figure this all out. In fact, we'll show you on the on the screen how, where to go to your website where you can take this test yourself. Right. Uh, they'll tell you what you are, teach you about it. You can have your spouse do it, your entire staff yes. team do it. Because when you learn this, it becomes a great, okay, C. One, one more. The uh, C style, very compliant, correct, uh, conscientious, all those C words, very exact. Um, they love it, systems. They love systems. They love information. They're, uh, uh, they're very um, uh, knowledge oriented. They want to gather data to be able to, to call upon it at some other time. Uh, Moses. Now, you know, I was born to raise a conservative Orthodox Jew, so here's Moses uh, trying to take six million people across the desert. Sometimes I have difficulty taking six uh, of my Jewish relatives across town. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, it, uh, you know they all want to go a different way. When you don't go their way, they murmur, you know. And so, yeah. uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, you know, uh, they're, they're uh, very uh, correct, um, and they want to do things uh, precisely in the right way. And they're, and they're afraid of criticism, so that's, that causes them to be more correct.
So if, so we're going to take a break, but if, we ha if you were to profile a couple in a marriage, for example, and you had an ID, which is, you know, because you're not just one. Sometimes you can be a mixture. Oh, yeah. We have more majority of people are mixtures. So let's say you had an ID. This guy's dominant, and he's an I, which means he's an influencer, and he marries uh, an SC. Very You passive. could put the, without them in the room, you could put the profiles down, you could look at them both, and you will tell them what their fights are about, how they handle their fights, the fears that they have, how they manipulate right. each other, what they're like under pressure because we all change. You could read them like a book. Yes, and then I tell them to take two animas and call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to help some people unp unpack this. I'll be right back with Dr. Sandy Culkin. Uh, women will marry a man thinking that he'll change, and ch <laughs> chances are that he doesn't. And a man uh, um, marries a woman thinking that she'll never change, and she does. She does. We believe Jesus Christ came to give every person on this planet a chance to live with power, passion, and purpose. Through award-winning, world-class TV programs like this and life-giving resources in Spanish, French, Italian, Russian and Hindi, Spirit Contemporary is changing lives around the world. Considerable expenses are involved, but each person reached is absolutely worth the cost. People are saved, their faith revived, eternities transformed, all because of your support. With your donation today, you will receive today's special resource. With the help of technology, it is now easier than ever to connect with friends and family all over the globe. And for the first time ever, Springs Church is available to watch online. Get access to Spear Contemporary Church every single week. You'll enjoy great music and an inspiring message from Leon Fontaine. You'll even be able to connect with people from around the world. This is my personal invitation to join me on Springs Online. Get social with Leon Fontaine. Follow him on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. With instant access through any mobile device, you can stay up to date with the latest news, comment on your favorite episodes, and watch insider sneak peeks. Bonus videos, inspirational posts, and practical teaching are just clicks away. Spirit Contemporary Social Media. Get social with Leon Fontaine. Welcome back. My guest today is Dr. Sandy Culkin, who wrote this book, Body and Soul. And the subheading says, 
A Married Couple's Guide to Discovering and Understanding Our Unique Sexual Personalities. This book is for couples because so many couples think they've got a problem in their relationship and you haven't got a problem, you've got another personality type. Yes, absolutely. And once you figure that out, like, it's a wonderful day to go, oh, there's lots of people like that. It's not a problem. Well, you know, uh, we have a tendency to uh, marry our opposites. I mean, uh, it's like opposites attract, and then they repel. You know? yeah. <laughs> After so, you get married. You're right, yeah. So, because you'd like to have them uh, be like you. Uh, we always look through a certain filter of our own, own particular style. And so until you really understand that, that that person is uniquely different, they were divinely created, and you're probably not going to change them. And, and the way we look at things through our filter oftentimes takes some of the very uh, things instinctively that they do and become offensive to us. But once I understand they're not doing this purposely, it's the way they were wired, it's something inside of them that uh, uh, causes them to be what they are, I can accept that. I say, well, this is the way God made you. This is the way you are. You know, and now it takes, a different, it takes a different view. Now, that's a brilliant thought because I think that is the core of the salvation of a lot of marriages yes. is that we tend to think, why don't you change? Why can't you love me this way? Why can't? And once you understand that the entire planet can be broken down into personality types and you were attracted, come on, that guy was a high driving, go get him. You were so attracted to that man. He made things happen. Now you're married to him and you're sick and tired of him making things happen, right? <laughs> Well, um, you know, uh, women will marry a man thinking that he'll change, and chance, chances are that he doesn't. And a man uh, um, marries the woman thinking that she'll never change, and she does. She does. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, and so, whoa, now we're, we, we have that uh, dynamic. You know, I, I married my opposite, and so, uh, but she's a good mom, and she's just uh, the kind of like the glue between the bricks, and uh, she has a lot of common sense. And, and when I talk to her about things, if I don't think, well, wait a second, you know, why is she so negative to me? Why is she uh, always asking me these questions? Why doesn't she... Uh, Lighten you know, up, just, have some fun. Like, yeah, just get on board with this thing, you know? And she's thinking, well, well why are you... Or just why don't you chill out, smell the roses, take it easy, you know? And so... Uh, Oh, this is the really part of the salvation of our marriage. We, were, we just celebrated our 40th anniversary. And, um, Congratulations. You know, yeah, and so uh, you know, people say, well, how'd you do that? I usually say, well, coffee in the morning. And that's <laughs> you know, and, uh, and, uh, but it was during that time, that coffee time in the morning, that we talked about these things. We talked about our personalities. We talked about our differences. What made me afraid? Why do you have this look? Uh, you know, what causes you to think that? And asking questions of each other. And so we got to know each other on a whole different level. Intuitively, when a couple get married, even if they didn't know the DISC system, do you think they quickly learn what the fears of the other person is and they use it to manipulate? Well, it's very, very, listen, it happens in business all the time and it happens in marketing. Uh, you know, the, the fears are, are, are absolutely displayed. If I want to get rid of a person in a business, just touch that fear over and over again, they become so uncomfortable, chances are that they'll leave. And the, the four fears, the fear of being taken advantage of, that's the dominant style. So the dominant style, he's afraid to be taken advantage of. So any relationship, any problem he's got. He wants to control so he doesn't become taken advantage of. He gotcha. wants to be in charge of be in charge. He looks at the environment, something's going to go wrong here, I need to change it, I need to control it. Okay. The influencing person, the fast talking, fast laughing, talking loving, people, they look at the environment as positive and they say, if I uh, have, I can have fun in this environment, I can enjoy this environment. But their fear is the fear of rejection. And so what happens when they get, and they usually sometimes get uh, rejected because they're not extremely detailed in many cases. You know, um, an eye has a big pile of papers on their desk, don't touch anything, I know where everything is, you know. Uh, <laughs> an eye looks at their checkbook and says, oh, um, I have another check, I must have more money. <laughs> you know? and so, uh, you know, they're fun people, but they might double book or they might uh, over promise or things along this line. Uh, uh, you know, it's um, uh, David was an I, and so uh, he was married to Michael, who was a C. And here he's out dancing before the ha handmaidens, and the C says, how could the king of Israel, uh, it's not protocol. And, you know, God favored David uh, because he was, he was re uh, rejoicing, that I was rejoicing and worshiping, and unfortunately, uh, Michael was barren. So if an I did marry a C, so the C likes stability, systems, structure, planning, 
Is that correct? Yes. And, and the eye, spontaneous, laughing, loving, let's go do something. The eye is going to be completely, and correct me wherever, but the eye is going to want to be uh, spontaneous, laughing, loving, dating, romancing, and the seed want, wants to plant it all first. So you're going to have them, but is that correct? Yeah, it's absolutely correct. And there's already, it's, it's like a built in issues. And, and so you have the C personality that wants to be friends, to, wants to be the friend to the eye and wants to, uh, to have that eye as their, uh, you know, personal, friend. Meanwhile, the I wants everybody as their friend. It's like mm. my wife said to me, she said, uh, I went on my honeymoon with you. You went on your honeymoon with 38 people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know yeah. I go out to dinner with you. You go out to dinner with the restaurant. And so, uh, you, you know, and it's, uh, but uh, when you understand, I understand that she, that SC personality, she is that stable, compliant, that more detailed person that she is, is so valuable because she looks at things and, and she asks me questions so that uh, I might not see the details. I might not see what could go wrong and she's very intuitive so I have to kind of uh, just defer and say you know what uh, God placed her in my life God placed she's different um, and even though that's her desire to do it this way I have to honor that and respect that and cherish that Wow so when so I'm gonna go back to this because I think a lot of people you do this so naturally you've done it for years but if you've got let's go back to this couple one's an I yes one is a C they literally will feel like the other person doesn't love them even though that's not true. And the C will retreat. Uh, the C is Backs afraid of, away. yeah, and the I is very eloquent. Everybody wants to be an I. They're very verbal. They can just, you know, if you get in an argument with an I, boom, 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 you know, it's hard to argue with them because it comes out so, uh, so quickly. And the C wants to think about it. You know, they hear something and then they want to retreat and think about it for a while. And then let's talk about it in the, uh, you know, a couple days from now. And so, uh, so the C's retreating, the I's advancing, yeah, and we got to exactly, fight. <laughs> that's right. And, and it's probably, um, very prone. One of the, one of the most volatile, um, uh, combinations. Because that C personality retreats and they, they go inward and they start to withdraw affection. And so when they draw, uh, withdraw, withdraw affection, affection from the I, oh. how does the I feel? The I feels re rejected. rejected. And so it just becomes a downward negative cycle. What would you say to a couple like that? Like how, there, is there just some great common sense or once they realize it's a personality? Well, type? you know, realizing, you know, people perish for lack of knowledge. And, yeah. and so uh, having the knowledge of that uh, information about each other it's probably 80 percent of the rules uh, you know uh, that make it happen you know it takes it takes some things to have a good r relationship it takes common goals mutual respect tolerance communication and enjoying one another so those are the five ingredients for a relationship so that communication number four is essential and the C you can ask questions they might not be quick to share but they're they'll answer questions they'll think about how they think so if I were talking to a C I would say what do you think about this I say that to my wife how, uh, you know I deal with her C how do you think about this uh, or then I deal with her S person I say, well how do you how does that make you feel and so those kinds of questions are not threatening and uh, they open up Dialogue and C's and I's will respond to that. Man, our time is already up, and I just want to encourage, thank you for being with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, and I want to encourage you to go to the website. We've got it on the screen. Probably the best thing you could ever do for your marriage is just go online, take the tests, and then start to talk to each other. I mean, you're going to start to laugh and feel free and recognize, oh, okay, have I ever blown this up? Uh, can you come back and do a program on looking at kids this way? Absolutely. That's my That would, would be love fun. Would okay. Love it. Well, we'll be right back. Devoted, a daily devotional created with you in mind. Easy to read and simple to understand. These two-minute faith boosters are available in eight different languages. Watch it on YouTube or have the booklet sent directly to your home. You can also receive Devoted to your email inbox daily. Become inspired as Leon Fontaine shares practical biblical teaching. Devoted is literally at your fingertips. Transform your life with this Spirit Contemporary devotional. Sign up to receive Devoted today. What a fascinating conversation today with my friend, Dr. Sandy Culkin, talking about understanding each other better and learning each other's personality types. What I love about today's show is that it shows us how God designed us all differently 
on purpose and that we can all work together to achieve great things in this world. You see, Spirit Contemporary, you hear me talking about it all the time because I'm so excited about it. It's this beautiful message of Jesus, the message of the cross. It's powerful, it's timeless, but it needs to be shared in a way that is spiritually alive and contemporary, cool, relevant for today. You know, as we live our lives on this planet, we can't become a subculture. We can't become the church is looking at the big bad world and we got to fix it and we got to preach at it. No, we are to be salt and light. That means your job, whether it's the boardroom, whether it's on the factory floor, whether it's the sales calls that you're making or at the parent teacher meeting that you're going to, you know, the neighbors that live around you, we've got to live in the real world. And Jesus has an answer for you and I. His presence is upon us, His peace, His joy. The word blessed means happy, fortunate, to be envied. People should look at you and I and go, what is it that's different about you? What is it that's going on in your life? And then you can share in a very clear way His peace, His presence, how you know you're forgiven and what God has done in your life. We want to take the message of Jesus further. We've got more open doors than we can even go through right now. But your gift right now will help us to reach people we've never reached before. For a gift of $30 or more, you can change someone's life. And if you would, I would love to send you this thank you gift, Keys to Building great relationships. You know, we can all develop more skills at working on relationships like marriages, work relationships, your kids, your grandparents, your grandkids. And I'd love you to join up with us. Become a part of a team that is touching the world. Don't just keep spending everything on yourself, worrying about yourself, but instead say, I want to give something that is going to change people's lives forever. They're going to make heaven because of my gift. Go to the phone right now. Become a part of what God is doing, and I'd love to send you this gift as a thank you. We trust that you are being blessed, uplifted, and encouraged in your Christian walk through today's program. As a viewer, you should know that we care about you. We value you greatly and appreciate your prayers. Did you know that Miracle Channel is taking the good news of Jesus Christ around the world through award-winning programs like this? We are actively translating ministry programs into languages like Spanish, French, Italian, and even Russian. We even air on television stations in the Middle East. This means that millions upon millions of people are hearing about Jesus Christ in their language, and it's all thanks to people like you. Considerable expenses are involved, so we need your support because each person who gives their life to Jesus is absolutely worth the cost. Each is of infinite value to God. You are very important to us. We care greatly about your spiritual growth, which is why we would like to get today's resources into your hands. When you support this program by making a donation, you are not only enriching your walk with the Lord, you are sharing Jesus with someone on the other side of the globe your donation transforms lives by reaching literally millions of people with the gospel. Call now and change someone's life today. Tomorrow, Leon welcomes Sean Bowles to discuss the power of sharing the gospel with love. And I had God challenge me and said, can you see people not just in a redeemed way or a coached way or like, like a football coach who says, I see you can be a champion, maybe, you know. But can you see them like the way Jesus went to the cross for him? 